We've all heard of the Nordic god Thor, the god associated with lightning, thunder, strength, the god with the mighty hammer, that upon throwing, it had the mystical power to return to him, to use time and time again in battle. But that hammer wasn't the only unusual object in the possession of Thor. Thor's helmet was tremendously strong. Nothing could pierce it. That's because it was forged in intense heat. Much, much hotter than this volcanic rock that in its hot molten form flowed from that volcano right there. Much hotter than even the heat that can be produced in the core of our sun. Thor's helmet was forged in the intense heat of a wolf riot star. You doing okay there, Shadow? The wolf riot star in which Thor's helmet was forged is an unbelievable 230,000 times brighter than our sun. 230,000 times brighter than our sun, and many, many, many times hotter. And it will ultimately end its life in a massive explosion known as a supernova. Unfortunately, Thor lost his helmet. In the heat of battle, he took a blow to the head. And thanks to the great strength of that helmet, his life was saved. But the helmet was knocked off his head and to this day, it is traversing through the galaxy, lost to Thor forever. Fortunately, we now know where Thor's helmet is. It lies in the constellation of Canis Major, the great dog, approximately 12 to 15,000 light years from Earth. Tonight, we're gonna to set up the telescope just below that reservoir right there. And we're gonna go after Thor's helmet but it's not an easy one to capture. So wish us luck. Let's see what we can do. You can still see the volcano. We just came down a little ways, but this spot right here, this looks really protected and the wind is, you can see from the shrubbery, the trees, there's no wind. And what little wind there is, is coming from the west. So I'm gonna set up a telescope right here so that the truck can block whatever wind I have. But this is a beautiful little spot right here. So look at that volcano. <laughs> That's really cool. Okay, we're gonna get setting up. We're imaging tonight with the Maxitoff Newtonian Telescope. It is a 1,000 millimeter focal length, a 190 millimeter aperture, making it an f5.3. It's a beautiful astrograph. The sun is setting beautifully. The skies continue to be crystal clear. Not a single cloud. Oh, and there went a bat. Only one bat. The object that we're going after is low on the horizon this time of year, and it should be right about there and then that's about as high as it'll go and it'll set relatively early. We should be done imaging by 11 p.m. And then we'll pack up and we'll go home. So we're gonna wait for the North Star to be visible and it'll be visible right above my camper. We will then polar align and then star align and we'll search for the object. Come here, come here, up here. having fun out there he's having fun out there and I'm having fun out there so far everything has gone really well polar line star line no problems and we did indeed find Thor's helmet let me tell you a little bit about it and then we'll go out there and take a look at it we should have about 25 minutes on the target by now are you ready to tell them about Thor's helmet 
Thor's helmet, catalog number NGC 2359. You gonna leave me? You gonna go back out there and chase things? Come on, come on up. Come on up. Is an emissions nebula located in Canis Major, the great dog. It's approximately 12,000 to 15,000 light years from Earth. That's a long ways away. It's big. It's 30 light years in diameter. But it's so far away that it's difficult to capture. What, you got something in your eye? What are you doing there? Okay. The nebula itself is an emissions nebula, meaning that it radiates, emits light. And it emits light because it's a cloud of molecular space dust and gases, predominantly hydrogen, but also oxygens and heliums and other elements. And they're being ionized by the bright, hot, intense star that we described earlier while walking down the volcano, the wolf Rayet star, the massive star that's coming to the end of its life cycle, that's burnt through the majority of its hydrogen and is beginning to fuse the heavy elements, which causes tremendous heat and copious amounts of radiation and powerful stellar winds to throw off the outer shells of the star and those stellar winds interact with the nebula, the cloud of dust that it's within, pushing the, the elements away and creating a ball, a round, helmet-looking object. And then it's ionizing the rest of the cloud, causing it to emit light so we can see the shape of the rest of the cloud. And lo and behold, it looks like there's horns coming off of this helmet and it looks like a Viking's helmet, thus Thor's helmet. It's really a, a cool object. We're on it now. We should have about 30-ish minutes. Let's go out and take a look and see how it's coming along. Let's just turn the lights off in here. Turn this light off. Turn this light off. Okay. And there we are. Now you're looking at a GoPro filming a computer monitor. So this will look much better after I've processed it tomorrow morning. But you can see the round ball, the helmet, the horns coming off the helmet, Thor's helmet. This nebula is approximately 30 light years in diameter. That's just huge, 30 light years. But it's so far away. Now I've zoomed in on it here. This is how it actually looks with the full frame. Look at all those stars. Look at all those stars. I mean, it's incredible. But I'll zoom back in here, or basically not zooming in, but um, cropping. That's what I'm doing, I'm cropping. All right, there you go. The red, you can see the red, that's hydrogen. The blues and the greens, heliums and oxygen, all being ionized by the brilliant, hot Wolf Rayet star in the middle of that ball. I could just look at this for hours. This is called electronically assisted astrophotography. I'm taking one minute sub exposures and then the computer stacks them automatically. And you can see the image just getting richer and richer and more full before your very eyes as you capture more data. I absolutely hate to leave. It's just such a peaceful night out here. The stars are brilliantly bright. The breeze has completely died down. And I hate to leave, but I do have to work tomorrow. <laughs> We're gonna let the rig do its thing and we'll hang out here in the trailer. And then I'll pack up, we'll head home. I'll process this image and show it to you in the morning. Thanks for coming along. We always have fun having you come along. Hope you join us on future adventures of Shadow.